All right, so I'm gonna start a YouTube, I guess. Um, put some stuff on for painting. So I guess let's introduce myself. Um, my name's Carson. I go by Bam online. Uh, you can find me on most gaming platforms and all that stuff like uh, with the name Bam. So that's what I'll probably go by on YouTube is Bam as well. So I just want to give a quick, uh, I guess, introduction. Um, plan on making some painting tutorials and maybe maybe some battle reports eventually. Um, but I'm I'm by no means a professional painter, just a hobbyist. Uh, what I want to do is create painting videos that that actually show the full process. I hate it when I'm watching a painting video and they skip ahead five ten minutes and it goes from showing how to do it to being done and it looks completely different and magical. And you're like, wait, how'd you do that? You skipped it. So. I want to make sure I actually show my full process, um, you know, start to finish. Of course, we'll edit out the long stuff, but uh, the idea is to paint something that looks decent, um, battle ready, and I'm going to do it quick. So those are the goals, and that's what I'm going to try to share. Uh, so I'm going to start off and just kind of show uh, my area. So this is where this is where I work. I work in IT, so um, this is my desk. Otherwise, I'm down here on the weekends. Um, this is this is my setup. So this is uh, where all the fun hobby stuff happens. So if we take a look, um, right now I've got my airbrush set up, ready to go. So I'm about to prime some models. Get um, the 3D printer, and then I use this. Um, whole area got two six foot tables lined with minis and models and, and then I have the my armies that I store down there. Uh, there's my my bulldog door. Door. Hey. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's uh it's six years old. He's uh as much mine as I am his. So. My best buds. Oh my God. Um, then I keep a three bin organizer right there for hobby painting supplies and all that. And a compressor down there, and then I have a stack of uh, two of these three bins. Um, I keep some more supplies there, and also a couple armies. So I started playing Warhammer, I think, in March. Uh, after I started playing a game called Conquest, uh, The Last Argument of Kings, so that was kind of my first uh, war game, was my first war game was Conquest. So uh, if you haven't ever played Conquest, it's a super fun game, but it's more a uh, file, rank and file type game, but if you want to see what a couple of their models look like, so this is an ice giant, um, they have some, some gorgeous stuff. Couple mountain giants behind them. Uh, and this is uh, for the dwarf faction. It's called the uh, Hellbringer Gray. So I've got two of those. The one that I picked up just for contrast paint. So that's that's my my background. So really, I have only been playing war games for a little while, uh, not very long at all, and Warhammer specifically even shorter. So. Um, but I've been painting minis, I've been playing D&D for over three years, um, I quickly became our group's painter guy, so, um, you know, anytime somebody needs a new uh, model painted, they'd send it to me, and I've grown from a, a little Tupperware with five or six paints and a, and a brush to, to this setup I have now, or, you know, I've just got loads and loads of paint, and it's still never enough. I'm always, I'm always need another color or another new brush or whatnot. But, um, airbrushing has, has been pretty fun. Um, a little costly to get into, but once once it's going, I think it's worth it. Even if it's just for priming. 
Uh, I've been priming minis with the black, the black matte black army painter stuff for four, three or four months now. I haven't had to buy another spray can, which is like 18 bucks a pop. I think that paint was eight bucks, and I've done so 300 models with it. It's maybe a quarter of it left, so that's pretty cool. You'll get your money back if you're doing a lot of priming. Um, and then mostly the reason I need an airbrush is to save time, so that's the goal. The quicker you can do it, the better. So uh, here's a guy I just painted. Uh, let's see, I did him Monday, so or Saturday last week, so real quick. I did him in, I'm gonna say 30 minutes max. Um, I wanted to try out some of the new Army Painter Speed Paints. Um, so I used all Army Painter, just to kind of get an idea. He's uh, actually the guy I play, so he's my uh, fire cleric, or light cleric, I think. I call him fire cleric. So he's all Army Painter Speed Paints, which was interesting. They're, they're good paints. They're uh, very useful to have another range of colors. They're very similar to Citadel's contrast paints, but hey, more variety in, in contrast paint would not hurt anyone. So. Uh, I also bought this Airbrush Studio for just over a hundred bucks, I think. It's on Amazon. Um, but it saves you from having to wear a mask. I mean, I think it's so recommended that you do, but I sure don't. Um, and it, you can see the gold, it's caught back there. So I painted a whole bunch of custodies gold. And, um, I had no gold come out the back of it. And there's no, no spray out the back or anything like that. So that was pretty neat. Um, Yeah, I think uh, I'll start uh, priming a bunch of these uh, 